Welcome back, everyone, to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, as you can see, we're at war with a group of people called Ethiopians. And we're going to have a great, great time while we're going to go and get rid of them, as well as those in Madagascar. We have a couple cops to go through as well, like normal. But let's go and siege down Madagascar, siege down uh, Ethiopia, and have a good old jolly time and uh, beat some up. We just killed 10,000 of them. Wow. The Battle of Masawa is looking pretty good for us. Even with a zero dash roll, and they have a seven. Wow. Gotta love it. We just casually kill off seven, eighteen thousand 18,000 of them. Not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. That's probably a bad idea to do over here, but that's odd on down there, my friends. Couple comments, though. Uh, someone says we should sphere as many African nations as possible because there might be a way for us to actually, like, integrate them or annex sphered African nations. So that's interesting. I had never heard of that one before. So we'll try it maybe. We'll see what happens eventually. So I would like to try that once this war is over. Maybe we can sphere Gaza, which I've already set it up. And Orange actually makes a lot of sense for us to sphere, but we kind of can't do that. Transvaal though, maybe? Even though they're not really an another kind of African, you know, because they are Transvaal, but we, we kind of like them. They're kind of boorish. Oh, the boars. Baby, come back. Borders come back. Of course, then again, I mean, look at what the UK has done to half of Madagascar. That's such a sad thing to see. Ah, oh, UK, UK, UK. You are such a UK. Anyways, other comments for that one guy. And other people as well. Promote more clerics and craftsmen in our uh, trade nodes. Trade nodes, no. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, the Germans are in... Oh, oh. So we'll promote some more clerics and, tr and craftsmen as well, which is super important. So the Germans and the... British and her allies are going to go to war with each other because the British want of Eastern Syria. Huh. Well, that really sucks for you guys. Um, well, they actually landed. But then again, Germany has a massive military. They're third in the world. UK is second. France is sixth. And Russia's number one. They're, they're I guess this is an early uh, Russo-Japanese war. Because the Japanese want the Cayman Islands, but they're aided by Serbia, Romania, Greece, Finland... This is a very weird timeline, so let's go ahead. I think. Did I, did I, I was trying to encourage bureaucrats all over the place here. You guys are almost done. I was trying to encourage bureaucrats here as well, maybe. Just because I want more bureaucrats, but I think for now, let's at least get two clerks up here. Clerks? Cool. Because they help with efficiency and help with research points as well. Clerks? And uh, give the Ryland for now. Put clerks all over the place here, because we could. Because these give you more research points as well, which is a very, very good thing, so. And let's see, clerics. Let's see, one, two, three, four, Sumatra. That's good enough. I want the Rhineland to be finished as well, so let's keep beating up some more Africans. Ah, very good. It's going to take a while for us to take them all out, but that's alright. And we're over here as well. And we're still making so much money. It's so nice making money, right? Oh, cruisers will be good. Cruisers will be good to get. And reactionaries, like, are. Because our party right now is a nationalist party, the reactionary party. This party allows us to manually build factories, which we should probably do. I kind of left it up to the AI a little bit more in this campaign. I could, and as someone did recommend that we should probably manually make sure that they build the right things. Which I think I did earlier, but we need to double check. And apparently Spain has fallen into communism. Well, that's pretty early, 1885, but okay, Spain. Y'all do, you guys. And now we've got that tower too. Head on in and go back to Aksum. And I'll take these guys out as well. Protectionism, don't really care. Uh, Nepal, that's fine. Oh, hello! Is that Madagascar speaking? Nice. Man, we're really trying to contest with the British here. Really, really, really trying to do so. Actually, come here. Infantry, Hussar, Artillery, Engineer. There you go. Cool. You guys come back up and you guys can help out taking out some more Ethiopians. And hopefully they go by... Oh, come on, guys. You wanted to do this. You're gonna die, then. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And business, we're doing some business regulations as well. We found some Ethiopian ships. Uh-oh. Oh, nothing really happened there. Well, we sunk one of the ships already. Nice. Nice. Got more production. And someone does recommend in the same comment, or the comments from yesterday, get more of this. Get more... Uh, artillery attack and support because that'll really help us out and basically just kill off enemies so that'd be nice right killing off our enemies is a very nice thing to do but now with the second army here we can definitely conquer Ethiopia in its entirety and we actually have the Casus Belli completely annexing them which is awesome 
Uh-oh. Oh, we had an election. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not the liberals. No. Oh, we'll do this, though. Yeah, we're kind of dealing with reforms. We don't, I don't really care for reforms too much. They want, what, a 14-hour workday? Uh, let's see. 2.72, 1.4. You want pensions? I prefer the workday. I prefer the workday. You guys work on the workday. There you go. Uh, fighting the mountains here sucks, but this is, but we're literally going to annex the entire nation when we're done here, so. Not bad. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Cyanide? Is that cyanide? C cyanide milling. Cool. Work specialization. Nice. Uh, Liberal Party is now gone. Oh, now the Liberal U Uni? Oh, what is that one? Um, Anti-military. God dang it. Why are they all anti-military? Honestly, like, I'm going to go back to this group because I will be building more factories, like, in certain states. And this will help us with money as well. Uh, another comment was, like, don't tax the middle class or rich. Well, they're already pretty set to pretty low for now. Um... You might want to lower taxes on the poor in the late game, maybe? So, we'll see. It just depends how much money we make, because right now we're making a buttload of money. Just a buttload. God, I, we gotta go back to China. I don't mind lowering tariffs maybe a little bit, so our guys can compete a little bit more against people in the world. Oh, maybe we'll use more protectionism. Wow, our military is third in the world. That is... That is very odd to see. Very odd. Ooh. Oh, no, we went to war with Gaza, guys. Guys, I was trying to sphere them. Man. Nice. This is really good, though. Uh, how much further do we have to go with this? Oh, we got that done. Artillery's gun. Good, 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 good. Deep defense would be nice. Uh, industry, organic. I still need to do organic chemistry, man. Uh, market regulations, diplomatic influence, precious goods. Ooh. Tax efficiency. Ooh. Quality assurance. Yeah, you know what? Just in case, if we get into any major scale wars, we'll keep doing that for now. Hawasa. Oh, what happened over here? I need some coffee. Uh, oh, come on, man. Oh. And they're annexing India, but what else is new? The British love India. Love, 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 love. And you know what? I think we love India, too. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time. Sometimes. Oh, factory cost goes down for 3%. Patents. Very nice. They should be giving up relatively soon. Go oh, gold. Nice. Ooh, that was pretty close. Can we propose? Yes. Even though, actually, aren't we at war with these guys as well? I mean... Uh... Propose peace? now. Nah. Oh, it's auto-saving, and... Wow, look, I told you, like, Dutch Gondor, that's actually really awesome. Italy wanted all this, and we're actually allied with them, which is nice, but that does give us potential to get over here, and we'll probably try to sphere these guys next, maybe? So we'll try that, and right now we can influence Congress Poland, which is very nice as well. Congress Poland, thank you very much. And look at these guys are still fighting, and they're actually winning for now, but we'll see, obviously, off-screen, and the Japanese are losing, but I wonder who, who we are going to go to war with next. Well, it's that time again, and we're going to go back to war with China, because, well, we can. But I do want to say that last thing about some of the comments from last time. Uh, we went to war with Sakoto last time, remember? But we lost prestige because we apparently broke our truce because of the free Cassus Belli, which I didn't realize at the time, but apparently we lost prestige because of that. So, it's good to be aware of why or how you guys, or we guys, lose prestige, which is not very good, but we're doing pretty darn well. We're, the, we're literally the second biggest military here because I'm not really sure. Apparently the UK did get Eastern Syria, so the middle... The UK, they love the Middle East. They love, love, love the Middle East. Is anyone else at war right now? No, actually everyone's at peace. But it's, except for the Qing Empire, but now, what do we want to take? North or South, Zhejiang, Guizhou, or West Canton? Let's take a look. I think, was it West Canton up here? East Shandong, West Shandong. Um, I don't mind taking this region. I really like that region, like I've said before. Anyway, South Zhejiang right here. I personally prefer um, Guangxi, but, oh, Guizhou. We can still take Guizhou as well. That'll make things look, ooh, Guizhou, Guangxi. We could take this. There's not that many people here. I do like the tropical wood. I really like the tropical wood. As well as that silk. Silk is actually quite profitable right now. It's around 11-ish pounds, which is better than uh, tropical rubber, I guess. And tropical wood. So, that would look really ugly for the borders. So, we can take these two. Uh, Guizhou, uh, Guizhou, Guizhou, or West Canton. West Canton? I thought West Canton was up here. Shandong, 
Let's see. Oh, it's down here. Oh, I would love to take this. That would be so good for us to take this. Oh, that's that's just a million point one million people there. Oh my goodness. And you do get some silk, but this would be so ugly if we went out this way and just took up this. That would be so incredibly ugly. Sichuan? West Canton, though. Oh. And then we can go up here, but then... Oh. We can make our own army here, too. I'd rather have it continuous line board, though. So, Guizhou. We, yeah, Guizhou. Yeah, it, it's got to be like that, man. Uh, ooh. I don't want to have ugly borders, man. I'm sorry. All right, let's move on in. Mm, we got a good dice roll, but minus one terrain is not very good. No bueno. All right, we lost 6,000, which is quite a bit more than I expected, but that's all right. A colonial discontent. We ignore threats to violence. Uh, threats of violence. No, no, no. We don't believe in that here. And work and control hierarchy. And we're currently trying to do fire control so we get some more colonial prestige uh, with that. Very nice. Nope, there you go. Uh, Congress Poland, sure, why not? Weapons platform for more colonial prestige. Sure, why not? And then maybe focus a little bit more on industry. Uh, flashpoint tension? No. No, 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 no. All right, where are you guys headed? Oh, look at that. Ottoman Empire. Oh, I didn't know we were still doing the Ottoman Empire. All right, not bad. Add to our sphere. Nice. Now, we'll go back to Pingle. See what we can do. Oh, they got some guys right there. Oh, Tibet. Oh, Tibet. Ode to Tibet. Nice. Oh, we can also blockade them too if we need to. Oh, yeah, we have that other arm here too. Can we actually build anything else here? No, we cannot. That kind of sucks. No, that kind of sucks that we can't build anything else here, but whatever. Oh, I wanted to show you one other thing here, too. Uh, where was it? El Salvador. Actually, here in El Salvador, did we already assimilate them? No, we have some misery here that we're going to assimilate off-screen, but I guess maybe since we went to war, they're not going to assimilate anymore. They were going to assimilate, and we had two Japanese people here, too. So, that's actually kind of cool, at least in my opinion. Japanese and misery people assimilating here in El Salvador to become Dutch. Which sounds incredibly weird to say, and it is, but still. Alright, okay, we're dropping them like flies. Very nice. 1v1. Can we win on attack? Maybe? We got rid of those guys, which is nice. Oh! Alright, so that's looking not too great. But, there we go. It ended after dies? I thought we were going to hear this one. If you liked it about that one, please go right ahead. But, cool. Very nice. Anything else here? No, 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 no. no, no. Artois, that would be very nice. But there's nothing else really new here. We could build a Titanic eventually when you dread on some high seas battle fleet. But I think ultimately we just got to wait a little bit longer. And I think we've done quite well here. Now, this is looking very ugly, as you, as you obviously can see. But, uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, we definitely need to improve this army as well. And, honestly, just got to hang out. I thought we had... Do we have three armies here? I thought we had four. Could be wrong about that, but... This is very nice. Another army we can make. Um, What was that group that needed this? Oh, you're floating on the... Ooh. Uh, yeah. How about you guys... I don't know right there. There you go. They need another... No, they're fine, actually. You guys are the ones who needed... The extra cannon. Alright, so you can become a cannon guy. Cool. And I wonder who we're going to take out next. Now, this may come as a surprise, but I want to go back and take out Guatemala because, well, we can. Well, at least hopefully no one gets involved. But we had a crisis off screen in which Belarus wanted some Russian territory. They're allied with me, but actually didn't back anybody just because they didn't want to get really involved. But also, apparently Italy deserved or got like a retria or there was an event saying that we could lose two infamy. As you see at the top of the screen here. And give it back to them, or we could keep it, gain one or two infamy, and then maybe go to war with them. I'm like, I don't want to go to war, and even though this looks really bad now, that even though we took this, we're kind of cut off from everyone else, we might still be able to get Gondor, and we hopefully will still be able to get Egypt, and which our truce will end when with Egypt? 89, so in another year, so maybe we can sphere them, annex them, puppet them, you know, something like that with those guys, which would be very, very good. And then maybe we'll be able to connect everything through here and here, that'll be very nice. But I figured, you know what, we could really use an infamy cut down, so not too bad, at least in my opinion. But let's go to war. Let's see if we can actually do this. Let's see. Uh, conquest, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And they're getting CG on by communists, so... Oh, Nicaragua is at war. Eh, no one really cares. Cool. Let's take them out, hopefully, fairly quickly. Hopefully no one else gets involved. God, I hope no one else gets involved. And we're doing collectivist theory, because I would like to improve our... Oh. Hello, who's attacking me? The Guatemalans are, have arrived. 
Um, wow, minus one, minus two. That's a good dash roll for them. All they have are infantry. It must be a mobilized group here then. Um, so yeah, I wanted to improve our industry a little bit more with better factory input efficiency, uh, efficiency tax. So that's why I did this stuff. It is 1888, of course. There's not really much else we can do here. Factory throughput might be really good to do as well. Yeah, we'll probably do that one next, as much as I want to get more artillery. And, eh, this one's not bad either. We won't be at war for that long, so let's grab this one. Because I like to get some luxury manufacturers going as well. Columbia, very cool. The Dutch Red Star. Ooh, all poor stars become... Uh, there's probably r less rich people there. Make sure they, they can't siege us down. Kill off all the Nicaraguans then. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. And back to Guatemala City. Silly City. Oh, actually, maybe we should increase the spending here, too. That might be really good to do as well. And I wanted to go over here to uh, Guatemala just because they weren't in anyone's sphere. So I figured, you know what? This almost never happens, so why not? You know? Why not? Now, if we attack there, we'll probably lose. So we want them to attack us, maybe. We'll see what happens. If they come back down here, we can actually take them out because it's only grasslands. If we attack, maybe. So we'll see what happens. Oh, boy. Maybe we should have mobilized a little bit more before we did this. That's all right. All right, Congress Poland. And, of course, we did take the capital, so that's what I think we really wanted, so. Congress Poland. Nice. Okos. Now, we do annex them. We can get up here, too, but they're allied with America, which sucks. Interchangeable parts. Very nice. High-pressure steam. Uh, more output. We could do that. Let's grab some of this one next. Factory throughput tax. Very good. That's a lot of guys. That's quite a few guys. And let's see, 0.39% of our population are clerics, which is obviously not enough, but that's okay. Oh yeah, rebels. Oh, we're gonna get this one done fairly quickly. Oh, Kuwaiti influence, okay, and Kuwaiti. Okay, sure, why not? We got enough cash for it. We do want to keep a nice little reservoir of cash in here too. Oh, well, I guess it became communist. Look at that, nice, cool. Uh, let's see, oh, Franco-Prussian war against the North German Federation. UK dishonor their alliance with Afghanistan. Okay, so Germany... Oh, God. Germany's trying to go back and do this again. Franco-Prussian War. Germany and the Ottomans and their German allies versus these guys. Ooh. Germany. Then again, aren't the Russians suffering from a lot of socialists? Up oh, my gosh. You don't have to zoom in. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know, Russia. That probably was a bad idea for you guys. Hopefully, Germany did as well, because I want Germany to be strong, but they're not allied to us. So just in case. You never know. We don't want the Germans to be too pissed off at us, do we? Of course not. Uh, I would love to attack them. They don't have that many guys. We don't have that many infantry, so let's come over there first. Uh, no. Hopefully we can take this guy. Ooh, ooh. Also, I think we did get trinket subsidies off screen as well. We're still the second largest military, which is insane to me. We did make some battleships, though. Like, we still have really garbage ships, but we do have like five battleships, and I'm trying to make some more cruisers as well. Oh, uh, 8%. Wow. 5%. 4%-ish. There you go. Generous subsidies. It's great to live in the Netherlands. It's great. Alright. Um, would you like to die now? No. They would not. Okay. Well, I guess we'll try to siege them all down then. That's fine. The beer hall opening. Cheers. Yes. Less pot milk, you see, is a good thing. They're starting to mobilize. I assume Germany will probably do the same thing very soon as well. Greece is no longer in our sphere. I'm not too worried about that. If they get back Guatemala City, that's fine. We'll be able to siege you back out anyway, so I'm not really too worried about that. So in the world, and we'll come back down here, and that's going to take them a while to siege that down anyway, so. That will be quite bueno. Max speed, very good. And what else? And we have almost got them, then boom. Nice. I'm sure, Afghanistan, if you want to move through there, that's fine with me. Oh, factory cost, let's do that one. Minus 10%? Oh, come on, we got to get a lot of factories here. We might be able to get Okos before these guys can fully finish sieging off Guatemala City, which hopefully will be well, or do well. I got it. Liberate all six rain. Wow. And? Come on, Drew. Oh, you don't have... Oh, you have Baden. You got those guys, too. They do have this as well, so I'm kind of wondering when they're going to form Ger actual Germany. There they go! Uh, would you like an alliance? I, I don't want you to beat me up. Please. <laughs> oh, we're not looking good for money, either. Yeah, we'll, we'll get this done first. That's nice. Ah, very good. Let's beat some out. Nice, this gives us... Whoa, that looks really weird. We're right next to Yucatan, 
And they actually have the same color as us, which is very odd to me, but you know, whatever. Uh, we can actually add some more guys here. So we're going to add in another artillery. Actually, two more artillery pieces, actually. God, Central American guys, why did you not build up your industry anymore? Is it because America got involved, maybe? Maybe. Well, that's not too bad. Hopefully, we can do well with America or Germany, but we'll see what happens. So now, my friends, it's 1893, in which we're still the eighth largest industry in the world, but we can go to war with China. And I just kind of let time go on just because, well, Africa has mostly been colonized already. It's unfortunate we didn't get to do anything here, really, just because we have such a deficit of colonial points. It is what it is, but really, it's not that big of an issue since I am trying to build up some cruisers. We need some more steamer convoys, huh? But, like, eventually we'll go to war with everyone and take the colony, so I don't want infamy to get too high. Obviously, I've been cutting down infamy a whole bunch. Uh, the Ottoman Empire is dead, though, because the British keep beating the crap out of it, and they just become more and more socialist, so... Ottoman Empire is dead. Other than that, uh, we were in a crisis as well. Apparently, Russia wanted Egypt to get, like, uh, like, was it Upper Egypt or something? Yeah, and they lost the crisis because the Germans, and both the Germans and the British backed us, so... And we got prestige out of that, which was pretty cool. Other than that, not much else has really happened. I've just been kind of hanging out. Obviously, as you, see, as you can see, the French have definitely gotten involved here. We'll probably kill off the French first. If we can somehow ally with the Germans and or the British, that'd be really good. Uh, as per your suggestions, I've been encouraging a lot of craftsmen here in, um, you know, Holland, as well as Flanders. So, like, 20% of the population, 26% of the population. We're still trying to get Valonia to get more clerics, but, you know, it's going to take a while to do that. How is uh, Guatemala doing, actually? we got some mines down there, of course. Dutch Guatemala is looking pretty... We've got some mystery there. These guys are from Egypt, I bet. Beja? Oh. Anything else? Mystery? Are they going to convert, maybe? Mystery? No? Okay. It's going to go... Wait, Dinka? Oh, huh. anyone converting? No? Sunni, 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 no? Well, that kind of sucks. No one's converting yet. Oh, we got some Japanese people here. That's kind of cool. And how about El Salvador? What's going on around here? Also, we've been so good at getting reforms that we've been giving people a, uh, subsidies when they're unemployed and pensions that uh, we they're costing us a little bit too much. So, yeah, it's not good when things cost us too much. But we'll see what happens. So, here's the budget. I cut this down in half. That's costing us quite a bit of money. Especially we're taxing the crap out of our poor people, but that's okay. But on to China, my friends. On to China. Now, we can demand another concession. And we'll keep going to go with China because they're still uncivilized, which is very good. We could get West Canton, as we can establish earlier, or these two regions over here. I want to do West Canton first because even though it's not connected to us, it's pretty close. And as much as I want to get Silk, there's just so much more population down here with that 1.1 million in West Canton. So I think it'd be best to go with that one. So we'll see what happens. West Canton, thank you very much. Hopefully we can do well down here. Of course, they are much more ready for a war this time around. Well, we'll see. We're still using Man of Wars, which is maybe not a good idea, but whatever. Oh, and their armies are just getting decimated by us. Nice. Just a lot of dead people. Cool. Bulgaria, no thank you. And Spain. Um, trying to court, or trying to civilize, civilize. Get Egypt to our sphere of influence. Maybe it's not a great idea. I might just go to war with them and do it that way. So, yeah. Let's see. Who's up here? Spain. But yeah, I might just go to war with Egypt and just force them to join our sphere. That's probably the best thing we can do right now. Third most prestigious nation in the world, which is not bad. And we shall soon have these all taken out. Good. Go in there, and then you guys go into here. Thank you very much. And the UK keeps annexing more and more people, which is just UK things. Oh, they're taking us out there, huh? Alright. Japan is doing stuff. We're killing off... Oh, Italy, what are you doing? Italy, 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 Italy. I'm not going to fight the French and the Swiss at the same time. Italy. Italy. Why are you so dumb? Why do you keep attacking? So dumb, Italy. Alright. Let's keep moving on. They got a lot more guys this time. Actually, I should have checked their military score. 169 is quite a bit. Okay, quite a few dudes. We'll probably struggle here trying to beat these guys up. But if you want to help them out, that's kind of okay with me. Up next. Anything up here? Not too much. No. So, maybe we'll come right here. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to move fast enough. Probably not. Oh. Or they just give up. That looks really bad. That, looks, that honestly looks really, really bad. But that's okay. Things sometimes don't look... Gr Hello? Where are you guys coming from? Nowhere. Uh, darn, there's... Oh, there's Tibetans here. No Dutch people yet. But you know what? That's okay. Because we get more, uh, hopefully, people to recruit for our armies in here. Which would be a very, very good thing. Now, I think it's about time for us to go to war with a little bit of Egypt. And actually, apparently, instead of making them our sphere, just make them our puppet instead. That might do very okay for us. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully no one else intervenes in this war, though. So far, so good. 
How about Giza? And actually, we're connected down here through Ethiopia, so actually that's not a bad idea too. To get him as a puppet, then maybe we'll be able to influence them, make him become our... Or add him to our sphere of entry. So Congress Poland, huh? Belarus, thank you very much as well. You know what? You both are here. Take these guys out. Oh, that's a lot of guys. That is a lot of guys. They keep mobilizing more and more and more. Holy crap, they keep mobilizing. They got really good dice rolls, though. <clears throat> oh, no, not elections. No. Gabu. I thought they died. Um, how many have we killed off so far? Holy crud. Oh, just 72,000 of them. Holy smokes. Wow, that's a lot of dead already. No, both of you guys head down here. See if we can take these guys out. They're, still, they're technically civilized, but they definitely don't have enough research points like us. We'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. Not bad. All right. All right, you find them. You kill them all off. Let's see. Oh, acquire. Oh. Oh, Italy went to war with them. Oh, this might be a really good time to go to war with the French, though. Ooh. Not bad. They're allied with the Russians, but they're looking not very good right now. But Egypt first. Egypt first. All right, how are we looking down here? Pretty darn good. Head on up there and starve in the desert. And we'll come down here. They actually built up a lot of roads. That's actually kind of impressive. The AI. I, so they sometimes build up roads, but not always. You guys go there, and you guys head on to Cairo. That'd be quite good. Thank you very much. And these guys are moving around. We have a few ships here and there, but I don't think they're, they're really that good. So where are you guys headed? Uh, cool. And head on in and kill them all off. If we can, of course. If we can. State capitalism. Come on, is it about done yet? Yes, it is. Go right there. Just keep sieging them down. Sweden, would you like to, uh, a little more influence? Yes, you would. Very nice, very nice. 24% of the way there. Not bad, not great. Could be a little better. There we go. And then go right there. And then you guys go right there. Sudan, hopefully it'll become part of ours. Our nation, but it will take some time. And we're also currently doing some market regulations. Very, very nice. Let's see. Let's keep improving relations with everyone. You never know if we have to have really good relations. Maybe except with the Russians and or the French. Something like that, you know. That's good. Killing them off. Nice, nice, nice. Very, very good. Economic responsibility might not be too bad. Open Hearth Furnace. Uh, we can do that. Steel Alloys might be really good to get as well. Army stuff. Uh, let's get some... You know what? Let's grab some of that. More defense. Because you never know if we might end up in a war with other nation, other people. War some Gali. Uh, we'll do that one for now. We still want to influence them, but we'll see what happens. Civil violence. Intervene eventually. That's good, good, good. You guys keep doing that. That's nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And which means if they have rebels, they'll break free, but hopefully they won't do that too much. Oh, baby boy, look what happened. Well, France turned communist. Look at that. Wow. Eight hour workday, good pensions, healthcare, school system. The French are not having a good time now. Oh, look at that. They actually have the, the, the uh, what was it, syndicalist flag? <laughs> it's weird seeing that, Vicky, too. A flag like that, at least. Nice. Ooh, the Italians are having troubles, too. Anarcho liberals, okay. Very cool. Intellectuals go bye bye. It's fine, whatever. Still encouraging craftsmen and our neighbors or our states. Oh, x rays, yes. More population growth. Please, 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 please. Our total population is about 150 million. That's a lot of people in the Netherlands. That's a lot of people. Uh, head on up there so you can help see those guys. Oh, thank you very much. Head on up there. Even though our ships are not very good at all, actually. They'll probably get blown up. Khartoum. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. And what happened? Upper house rearranged. That's fine, whatever. Uh, oh, we became... Uh, oh, so we became socialists. That is the first time this actually has happened. Pass, oh my gosh, no, no, no. I like to say capitalism. Secularized is okay, but... Full citizenship. Oh, that's going to hurt us. Pacifism. Oh. Wow, social spending. That is... How did that happen? Whoa. We're still making money, which I'm not too bad with. Full welfare state. Minimum social spending. Uh, protectionism, too. But... Huh. That is... Unusual. Well, hopefully we can still win here, regardless. It's gonna take us time, though, to, like, justify other people. Then again, we're not really justifying too many people anymore. Just because of... Ooh, are we actually gonna win this battle? Oh, it looks like we are. That's good. We lost a few ships ourselves, which is not very good. Oh! Okay, cool. Now they're our puppet. Very nice. Now we're actually kind of all connected here, which is actually pretty good. Uh, well, I love Bulgaria. I'm not going to help them out, though, probably. You guys head on back down to... Ooh, we have some rebels down there. Head on down to... Right there. Something like that. 
And we actually build you guys up if we really, really wanted to. Let's improve our former alliance. Eh, let's improve relations first. Oh, they are in our sphere, so that's actually really good. Dutch Africa is not looking too bad. All right, everyone. So right now, it is January 23rd, 1897, and our infamy has cut down quite a bit, but we can be build the Suez Canal. Uh, let's see. That one is all the way up here. Up here. One of the long-standing problems for shipping on the Far Eastern and India trades has always been the need to round the African Cape in order to actually get there. By establishing a canal through the Suez, we will shorten the journey to Asia by days. As well as perform a wonderful feat of modern engineering, this feat, however, is estimated to cost 1 to 3 million pounds, which we'll do after we go to war with the French. Now, I got an event off-screen saying that we could, like, annex all of Egyptian Sudan, which obviously, as you can tell, we already did, so... That was actually really, really good. Holy crap, like... I should have showed you that, but, like, I didn't want to risk, um getting too much infamy so we're actually really good at four so not too bad i mean german uganda which does not look very good to me but, but whatever but yeah we actually got all of sudan which is awesome 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 i don't like they like to kill each other down here but i really hope we can annex these guys because this is looking disgusting this is really disgusting uh can we form an alliance first real quick before we end up going to war oh uh, i we i want to invest nice but uh oh we got more defense that's good wait but i think it's time for us to go to war already uh, cut down just uh, that stuff anyways for now. But actually, it's kind of cool to look at the migration map mode and see everyone around us is losing thousands of people by the day or the month, you know. But we, ourselves, no, not too much. No, not really. No one is really moving anywhere, which is kind of sucky, but, you know, whatever. Everyone else is kind of sucking. Well, that's all right. That is a-okay. Ah, this was good now. I want to invest. Oh, actually, we're third, third largest military. But as you can see, Spain is... Spain is doing well. They wanted to go to war. I actually broke my lance because they wanted me to go to war with France. But I said no because I want to actually take Artois if we possibly can. Because I believe that they should really be a part of us. A French cultural unity? I don't know about that, France. I don't know. Oh, they got some Flemish. That's our core population. So we got to go in and rescue our soldiers here. So acquire state. We want Artois. And we will call in our allies. Let's see. Poland, Belarus will not accept. Portugal, Bulgaria, Egypt, Argentina, Austria, Hungary. Sorry, Austria Hungary, you're going to get involved because we're going to go to war with France or Russia as well. So, and with them being doing this powerly, I figured you know what we probably will go in anyways since they're already fighting the Spanish. So, nice. And we're fighting the Russians and the Turks for some reason. Okay, well, that's a little different. Uh, they have some Serbian patriots down there too. Well, that's sucky for them. Oh well. All right. So our guys are looking perfect here. You guys head on over here. You guys head down. Actually. Ooh, we're not even touching these guys, which is actually pretty good for us then. So, you guys go down here then. Or, actually, you guys go to Tobruk. You guys go over there. And you guys go over here. Tripoli will be ours, hopefully, by the end of this. Nice. We just all come out here. That's very nice. They do have seven ships. And we have a few of our own. Mostly battleships and troop ships. So, that's definitely a mixed bag, but that's okay. Nice. Nancy is next. Um, all right, yep. They've agreed to join in. And they probably are they they are they are already mobilized. Wow, look at that. They are already mobilized. Anything else? We got even more defense, elastic defense system. As you can see, we're trying to do steel breach loaded artillery stuff, which is very, very good. Nice. Darna. Oh hello. You don't look very strong right now, and we kinda like that about you. Um what else is going on here? That's just a lot of guys. Uh what are you guys doing down here? Not too much. Almost done, and nice. Benghazi, we're doing. Let's go all the way to Tripoli, maybe, first. Belarus, you said no. I don't really want to ally you. I really don't. Nope. Get out of here. You said no to me, so why would I ally you? I know you got to fight Russia, but still. Hey, look at up to a thousand of them. Very nice. And they'll arrive in Lille? Is that Lille here? Yeah, it is Lille. France is just not having a good time, man. I kind of wanted to wait to go to war with France. Um, and, like, later on, we're going to have a great war, so we can actually take all the colonies. But I figured, you know what, let's take Artois for now. That'll be okay for, with us. Just go ahead and take Artois. al Because it would be much cheaper to get their territories, but that's okay for now. Alright, so they'll probably peace out with the Spanish. Spanish are doing great. Like, holy crap, Spain is on a roll. I mean, once the French became communist, I mean, that's so good for us. Anything else here? Nope. We might get some rebels, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we haven't had any rebels yet, just because I've been giving them a lot of their own demands. I'll take Paris, please. Thank you. Uh, but if you know HPM, especially the final version of HPM, I think is 0.4.6. They spawn way too many rebels. Sometimes. Actually, a lot of the time they do. So, Which kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Triple E is done. Thank you. Wadan. Aljigabab. 
and head on down there too. How you guys are doing that, and not bad. Not bad. Of course, we're not really fighting the Russians. Oh, that's not good for the Austro-Hungarians, but... Uh, Russia, the third most powerful military. That's not good. Oh, I guess we called him Bulgaria too, huh? Then again... Oh, Austro-Hungary. I guess they annexed Bosnia, huh? Of course, these guys, they're fighting a lot of people too. But we'll see what happens. I mean, all I really want is Artois. They might just give it to us, especially once we take out... Um... Oh, never mind. We're to take out Paris. Rebels in Sudan. Oh! Okay, now it becomes a Great War. Look at that. We've discovered Great Wars. Austria-Hungary discovered Great Wars. Oh! Okay, now this has become interesting. This has become very interesting. So we'll defeat these guys. Obviously, the French are just sucking so hard. Thank you, Spain. I don't know what the Spanish... Spanish? The Spanish did, but... Thank you, Spain. Thank you very much. Actually, you can go here, too. Why not? And do they have any other colonies anywhere? They're not really an agent too much, no. Oh, this is going to be a problem, then, if we have to get... Oh, but they're having social problems over here, too. Hmm. I kind of like that. We do have five capital ships, so we should be able to beat them up. Nice. Nice. And again, we... Oh, we have developed our naval doctrine just slightly. Not too much. No concessions to violence. No, nope. Well, we're doing great. Taking them out. Full siege them down. Italy, yes. We will ally you if you come into the war with us. Oh, they have a truce. God dang it. Nah. I should have looked that up earlier. Hey, we actually killed all seven ships off. Nice. Let's go and repair. Oh, did someone abandon our alliance? Oh, did Austria hungry? No, no, they're still looking okay. Can I get America or Germany to ally with us? And America says no. Japan. I don't mind Japan. Japan's fine with me. I mean... I mean, the reason why they want to ally us is just because we're fighting the Russians and the Japanese don't like the... the Japanese don't like the Russians, so... Nice. Very nice. We're the second largest military in the world. In 1871. 79. 79. Uh, would you like to come in the war? Yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. They will accept. They'll come back on the 13th, so, and... Now, calling them in will hurt us, or hurt our ability to get their the French uh, territory in the end. But that's okay. Nice. Oh, hopefully we get Artois. If we don't, then I'll have to just, you know, um, finagle things off screen to make sure that we actually get what we originally came to get in the war. So, alright, you guys are looking, looking good, looking good, looking good. Very, very good. That's probably my biggest issue with Victoria 2. I... I'm still used to the frontline system in Hoi 4, that I kind of miss it sometimes. And actually, you know, just in case you guys come up to Amsterdam, just in case we have rebels, just in case we have rebels. But, like, as much as we complain about the, the frontline system, sometimes it's actually kind of okay to keep, so. Or have. Just because I remember playing, like, Hearts of Iron 2 without a frontline system. Playing without a frontline system like this can be a pain in the butt. A huge pain. It can be, at least. Actually, since we're here, this should be cheaper, right? 1.0, oh my goodness. Install democracy. Eh, do we believe in democracy? Hmm. Cut down to size. Acquire place in the sun. So we can, like, demand that we get specifically some sort of place here. Tahiti. Do we want anything here? Chad? We love Chad. Tunisia would be really nice as well. Um, Algeria would be kind of nice. Acquire a state for 3.6 infamy. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Um, we can take that away from them. I'm not really sure we want too much here. I don't mind reparations. 0.4. I mean, that's so small. Demand reparations. Must pay maximum 5%. That's not bad. Cut down to size. Install democracy. 0.9 infamy. Prestige is reduced. And we get 6.4 prestige. 3.4. Oh. We can liberate a country. That could be really devastating to them. Algeria. But the colonies that they do have will become separate from them. So, you know what? What if, instead of just Artois, we also maybe would want uh, Picardy? I think Picardy would be very nice addition for us. How about we get Picardy? Place in the sun? No, it's a choir state. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind taking a little bit of hit to infamy. That's fine. And Congress Poland Transvaal. So basically, in this, we're going to make uh, France a rum state. When we're done with them, I mean, my god, it's going to be just... going to look so ugly. So ugly.
All right, not bad. I'll jump and head on into French Africa. Again, because we were technically already are down here. Oh, and the British are getting involved. Hopefully the British can show up here. Oh, they're actually doing relatively okay here. Dongola. Oh, we got some more technology, finally. So we find any more people, we can blow them up. Oh, our literacy went down by so much. What happened? Oh my goodness, it was 80 some percent earlier, but now it's not. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not good. It took over rail system. We can wait a whole year. You know what? Uh, I want to do this. Let's, let's grab this one first. That's fine. We don't even have that one yet. It's going to be really quick to make. And you can save one year's full worth of research points before research points start to expire. So that's really good to know if you didn't know that. So Nice. Oh, the Spanish peace out with them. Oh, they got, they got Spain back. Hey, that just means more territory for us to take out, right? Nice. You might as well just hang out there. Keep sieging them down. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Head on back home if you really want to. It doesn't really matter too much. Anything else here? Nope. Build the Suez Canal. Well, we will eventually. We're still making money, even though we're at war, which is very good. Oh, thank God the communists rose up in Spain. Or, or, or I mean, um, well, why did I say Spain? France. Okay, oh, all this to take out too, so. Oh, my goodness. Cool. Or Leon. Nice. Very nice. Hopefully someone's taking out Russia. Austria, Hungary, and Japan should all be doing that stuff. Um, anything else? I don't want Italy to come into the war, but they have a truce with them, so. Very good. Bordeaux. They shall have no cost. Very nice. Gabu? Gabu? Gabmi? Gabu? Yes, please. Thank you. Actually, what are people what are people demanding here? Let's see. Uh, obligatory Great War Capitulation, acquire Britannia, that's fine. Cut down the Russian Empire, seems pretty good. Windward Coast, Sahara, Artois Picardie. Oh, they want Southern Serbia. They still have 558 divisions, which is quite a few. Yeah, this, they're struggling over here quite a bit. Actually, we do have Congress Poland. Does Poland have any more claims on this? I would love to give Congress Poland some more territory. But I don't think so. That kind of sucks. Actually, maybe can we liberate the Ukraine from Russia? That would pretty that would devastate them probably quite a bit. Actually, Russia. Huh, can we add a war goal? Can we liberate release puppet? Afghanistan, no. Reparations be nice. Yeah, liberate a country. That might not Ooh. Yeah, liberate the Ukraine in its entirety. Yakutia? Nice. Uh, there's Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine is probably the biggest one we can probably do here. That actually be really good. Go and do that. I don't know if we can actually get that done. And we really gotta start cutting down our infamy now, but... That'd be really good. Oh, what the heck? No, I wonder if you guys would do that. Oh, they got some divisions down there, huh? Alright, they're not looking too good. Come to Bordeaux. Thank you. Spain. Sure, that's fine. Would you... We can't... They have a peace treaty, so... Whatever. 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 There goes the Portuguese. Nice. And there they go. Uh, you're gonna need some help over here too. It's fine. Hey, I'll put. Alright, let's save up for a little bit. You guys help up here too, and then head down there. Pow! A paul. Pau. Alright, not bad. They all died. That's what we love. Oh, we need more divisions here. Um, We need another artillery piece. Oh, we have you guys up here too. That's very nice. Head on over here. You never know the Germans are going to attack. You don't trust the Germans. No one trusts the Germans. Oh, look at that. So we got more reforms. We did get to good health care as well, which is very good. So, good safety regulations. 4%, 5%. Good pensions. You can have some good pensions if you really feel like it. But do they deserve it? That's another question to be asked. We have offensive attitudes. Very good. All right, Turkish social public will pay their debts even though we're already at war with them. What do you expect? All right, very good, very good. We have basically sieged down all of France because of Spain. God, I can't believe we're saying. Thank God for the Spanish. Hopefully someone's taking out the Turks. Hopefully the UK is. They love beating up the... the oh, God, the UK, the UK. That's disgusting, guys. That is really disgusting. 
Oh, and down here too. Uh, you guys can just head on back here, and if you need to, hunt rebels. Nice. Oh, it is 1898. Uh, rail systems, can we get anything else here? That's, ooh, 1900. So in two years, that'll be ready to go. Which also means that gas attack will hopefully be ready to go as well. But let's get some more roads. I love roads. Doesn't matter what game or mod. Ooh. Portugal has expanded a war to acquire the Congo. Well, unfortunately, we're not the leaders of this war, which is a big, big mistake, but whatever. Um, 64% of the way there. They they could capitulate any day now, realistically. I mean, as you can tell, France is dead. But Russia's probably going to keep going on. Even though they might still be at war with... Uh, the Japanese too, and the Austro-Hungarians, so we'll see. Second world, second largest military in the world, nice. We don't even have that many ships. We took out China a whole bunch, which was a lot of fun, but still. What is that? Not too interesting. Nice. All right, and guys come over here. Don't, no, 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 no. We love your rub rebelling, but give us some time, man. Oops. Oh, it's not us. You guys are here. That's fine. There you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, 90,000. That's the last major French army that they have. And they're all hanging out near Gibraltar and La Ceuta. We still have 2 million dollars or 2 million pounds. Not bad. I'm waiting for the, the second that people will just give up. Germany, do you still like us? You know what? It's only five. I got nothing else to do with that stuff. So, America. Hello. I hope you're having a good day. France is not. They're going to be dropping in uh, participation. 500. Divisions left for Russia, or the entire, you know, Entente, or whatever you want to call it this time. You guys go there, you guys go there. You, just go home. When you're done. Beautiful. Luxembourg. Oh, who are you? Socialists. No, 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 no. How dare they try to assimilate. A whole bunch of Picard people here. Even though we don't really care for the Picards. We're, let's say that we're in this war for the liberation of the Picard people. That is what we'll say. Yes, that's what we'll say. That's why we went to war. Totally. Totally. Oh, I forgot about this too. Uh, that's fine. So, the war should end pretty soon, actually. Just because we're pretty much done here. And we'll let time go on. 83. Um, let's see. What is Japan doing? Japan. They're doing a good job. Japan is nice and bright pink, reddish, but they're doing a great job. Look at that. Oh, oh, go, Japan, go. Actually, the Qing Empire is still not huh, fully reformed yet. It's fine, whatever. Expedition returns without success. That sucks. Let's do it again. We didn't even need Germany to help us out. I mean, oh, France goes bankrupt. Well, since we're here. You better pay, repay your debts, son. Nice. Now, they're definitely still struggling over here. The Russians still are fairly strong. The Austro-Hungarians are incredibly weak. France went bankrupt, as they should. Uh, build the Suez Canal. We will do that once the war is over so we can get more money. And then we won't be able to go to war for a while. Because this is the first great war. Our total population, though, right now is 162 million people. Obviously, not enough. Oh, Italy, you are having some anarcho-liberals, huh? Well, I'm hosting a military parade in uh, Paris right now. Not bad. Can you make any more divisions? Oh, that sucks. No, no more? Okay. Oh, did they go... That's nice, but... uh, Okay, that's cool. Anything else right here? No? Okay. There you go. Hang out have a good time. Oh, you guys hanging out too? That's not bad. Then go there. Oh, nope. No, okay, just go there then. Algiers will be actually really good to get to. Come on, Russia, give it up, give it up. Because I don't think the Turks can really do much here. Uh, what is, who is this? Who are we doing, Gabu? Was it Gabu? No, it was the other G word, Greece. The, those people who like debt. Oh, God, no. We can do that. Oh, oh look at that. 97% of the way there. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. 98, 98. Defender occupations. Come on, can we get 99, 99, everybody? 99? Because of the battles, plus 50? Oh, this is going to be a devastating thing. The first Great War will be told in the history books that it all be started because of the Spanish. I hope we get a lot of territories. Um, at this point, just go ahead and back down to the Suez Canal. That'd be good. And anything else? Anybody down here? No? Okay, good. Come on, we're almost at 100%. They're about ready to give up. I wish I didn't call the UK in, but I'm glad we did. Oh, we did it! Oh, there it goes. Oh! 
Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot over there. Wow. Okay, so what's... Oh, look, Artois is ours. The region of Artois is finally back in Dutch hands. The area has been part of a rightful historical realm, and this should be a reflection on the world's map. Nice. More prestige? We don't get cores, which sucks, but whatever. And let's just go and build the canal, since we're here anyways. Okay, into the Suez Canal's uh, core. And let's go and pay our old $3 million. If you'd like to build that, please go right ahead. We're already at 25 million, so we just lost all that money. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me. We're not going to sign the Geneva Convention, no thank you. And good safety regulations. We're going to have all the best regulations possible. Oh, the Netherlands is looking good. But now we need Champagne and more of the Rhineland, really, at least in my opinion. That'll be really good to get. And since we beat them so hard, we can actually make another division. As much as I'd love to make another Dutch division. Oh, expand. oh we have no money, that's right. Um, Picard, artillery, French. Oh, the French can be the frontline soldiers. I guess Picard can do that. But I guess that's going to be it for now. Nice. Oh, so acquire Martiania, cut Russia down to size. Oh, we didn't get Ukraine. Oh, then why did we add that in? Oh, come on. Artois, Picardy. At least we got Artois and Picardy. That's really nice, at least. Wow. We didn't get as much as I really wanted, but you know what? That's okay. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. I'll see you tomorrow in another episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.